what's good babes and welcome back to the channel and if you are new hello hi my name is Brittany Michelle if you want to see how I went from looking crazy to looking like yes ma'am with this beautiful jet black bust down middle part a cute quick weekend style that I did for myself make sure you stay tuned to hear more details about this super affordable hair that I got from my beauty supply store and how I achieved this look Alright y'all, so jumping right into this video, I have already prepped my hair, meaning I have moisturized, sealed my hair, deep conditioned, washed it, trimmed my ends for the most part, and braided it down into about maybe four to five braids. And I am doing minimal leave out, so I got literally just a slither at the top of my head of leave out and pretty much just my edges for my leave out on the sides because I don't like to put too much heat on my hair so I'm doing very minimal leave out so I don't have to worry about blending too much and um, right now you just see me putting on my first layer of protection because I am going to be doing installing this hair doing the quick weave method so I am putting on my stocking cap and I like to apply my stocking caps as if I'm doing the bob cap method when I'm doing my quick leaves. Next, I want to go in with my second layer of protection, and this is the most important product that you need to apply, which is the Weave Wonder Wrap. Um, my 30 second pro brand is has argan oil in it this is a liquid cap and this is going to make installing your quick weave super safe and it's going to make removing your quick weave even safer this is going to protect your hair from any of the glue sticking and ripping your hair so make sure you get this product and use it and of course all of the details and information and products will be in the description box below y'all so make sure y'all check that out i like to use my fingers when i put this on you can use an applicator brush but i like to use my hands with a lot of things i need to be able to feel what i'm doing after you put that on you want to go ahead and dry your hair either sit it up in a dryer or you can use a blow dryer and you want to wait till it gets completely dry and hard and this is the hair we're going to be using guys this is the shake and go organic q straight um, synthetic hair it's a master mix which means it's just pretty much synthetic hair I got three bundles of 24 inches for $9.99 at my local beauty supply store um, I'm sure you can find this brand in your beauty supply store near you or if you can't you can definitely order it online again links will be in the description box um, I purchased this hair with my own money and this hair was super super pretty when it came out the package it didn't um it did tangle when i was unraveling the bundle which you will see and i did experience some tangling as i was doing the hair but y'all this hair is 9.99 a pack it is synthetic hair and a lot of people clown synthetic hair but i personally love synthetic hair for when i want a quick short temporary style like instead of wasting money on buying bundles for a style that i'm not even gonna keep in that long i go get synthetic hair and if i need like a quick fast and a you know emergency hairstyle a hairstyle that's gonna get me through the night or for a few days i will do this i don't keep my synthetic hair in that long um so i can't really tell y'all how long it can last i um, the longest i keep my synthetic hair in my head is probably about three days to a week max before i'm like okay i gotta go because it tangles and sheds like crazy but this is perfect for what i needed for the night so as you can see i am going in and doing my usual method that i do for my quick weaves once my hair is completely dry with that liquid cap i'm going in to measure out my web starting from the nape of my neck and working my way on up um so i'm gonna let the video play out so you guys can visually see what i'm doing if you want a detailed video on how i do my quick weaves i have tons of videos up for you guys showing details if you want me to do an updated video detailed video let me know and i hope you guys enjoy i'll come back on when i'm getting ready to do this leave out
hey y'all i'm back so i just wanted to point out yes see i'm trying to detangle the hair like yes y'all you're gonna get some tangling with synthetic hair so make sure you keep a brush or a comb somewhere nearby but when you first put it in that first night or two girl you gonna depending on what brand of synthetic hair it's gonna be looking so good but anyways right now i'm going in to cut off that excess cap and reveal my leave out be very careful doing this part i have cut my leave out before it is not fun my leave out has been through some things, okay? Trial and error, trial and error, but be careful with that part. And the key to a flawless leave out is to tr um, track track placement. So before you even get to your leave out, you wanna make sure that you're placing your tracks super close as you possibly can to where your leave out ends and begins. Um, that will help your real hair regardless if it's relaxed or natural blend in with the extensions better and even and if you have to go in between your natural hair or your real hair and add some extensions in between that parts because that will make it blend a little bit more flawlessly too um i am 100 percent natural but my hair was straightened and blow dried prior to this install so I had already straightened out my um, leave out and blow dried it out so that's why it's so straight but if my hair was relaxed um, or you know I wasn't natural I would have had to do a lot more work definitely I would have to had you know straighten it out a little bit more which I'm going to show you how I do anyway but right now I'm going to tackle my little edges you know like I said I didn't pull out a lot of my edges on the side literally just like my baby hairs and my edges because I wanted to give like baby hair effects so that way if the wind blows all you see in is baby hairs and not tracks or you know it looks more natural so you want to go in with a nice flat iron you know and straighten the hair do the chase method when you do straighten out the hair because that will make it get it flat i'm not doing the chase method because my hair was already straightened and my flat irons are actually on a low setting because like i said my hair was already straightened prior make sure you always use heat protected please use heat protected because if you don't you will get heat damage and we don't want heat damage that's what you don't want um so just take your time use small sections and um once you get it straight i'm going to go ahead and apply like a light serum or oil only to your leave out section so that way when you go outside it won't be no humid humidity um making your leave out poof up and then i like to also apply a lightweight hairspray to my leave out section as well so after i straighten it i do a lightweight serum then i do a lightweight hairspray and then I do wax stick. Then I put my scarf on and I let it sit. And this is the final results, guys. Look how beautiful this hair is, y'all. You can't tell me that this is synthetic. Um, maybe tomorrow or the next day, you probably can tell me it's synthetic. But tonight, you cannot tell me that it is. Bust down, men apart. Um, yes, y'all, jet black. I didn't have to color anything. I didn't even have to dye my leave out. My leave out ain't even jet black. But because I left minimum out, it was easy to blend. So, y'all drop some comments if you use this hair. Let me know how long it lasted for you. How do you feel about synthetic hair? Did I finesse? I think so. But anyways, I love y'all. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new because I make fire content like this all the time. I have something for everybody. If you're looking for an affordable look, I got that. If you want to spend some money on some bundles, I got that too. Okay? Welcome 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 but anyways y'all stay beautiful stay blessed and stay safe please y'all bye